Hello everyone, it's Jade and welcome back to the Sims 3 Salvatore Legacy. So I was just tuning into where Cho was because she has to obviously go report her findings and she's just at the uh the laundromat just casually dancing here by herself like you know live your best life Cho. But let's go, what was, what was this chick's name? Anyway we're gonna go report findings so I forget her actual name. Is she in our friends list? Wait also my game has been really chunky lately and I it's my fault. I know it's my fault. Oh. <laughs> it's my fault because I've just been adding CC all the time. Also, uh, I was going to call it Cleo. Oh my god. Cleo is like Freddy's cousin. But anyway, um, <laughs> Carissa's just heading home from her job. I think we did fine with it actually. I don't think we had any problems. All right, but let's make sure Cho actually reports her findings. So I think they've got a detective that lives here and I'm not sure what he is, but yeah good work good work she's like okay after some investigating <laughs> oh yay i uh i thought scout sergeant was going to strangle me out of frustration when i told my story the aquatic biology grade has apparently been a sore spot for some time i'll just take my pay and swim away to safer waters trey has earned job experience and 500 cool cool i love that feature my baby chill baby all right well apparently i think somebody commented and then removed the comment but poor baby um that we can go to the police station police is there a poli police station to um obtain an investigator case cool so someone had commented that and then i went to go check it and then it disappeared and i was so sad but luckily like the notification had told me what they said so we can go find jobs now so i don't know if we can still do that from home but i we might as well just do it straight from the police office all right we've solved our first case love that let's just go check in with the fam bam so we've caught up with cho um i don't we've got thirty two thousand at the moment i did play through a day oh dear my game's like freezing so much more than normal now it's just quite it's quite sad we're making another um time machine so i think he will actually get another promotion super soon so i might actually just wait for him to finish that and then we might have enough money but should i just <clears throat> should i just delete the cupboards that are there i should shouldn't i i shouldn't be so like specific about it if i can have the same cupboard for like 300 dollars, what's my what's my problem right all right let's just dip into the household inventory oh so sorry when did we get all this stuff in here oh cho's been dumpster diving of course she has okay i forgot about that so we're at 33 at the moment i mean thanks and then she also had a blue toe pass in here we're at thirty-five thousand. okay and he should have got a promotion i think yay yeah, cool, cool, cool. so that should be up in the corner here uh freddie finished making his time machine congratulations freddie has been conferred the new title of father of local ingenuity by the twin brook town council man i thought i was gonna mess that up <laughs> uh whenever the shout of eureka emerges from your profitable workshop nobody doubts the quality of the creation your stock is rising don't let folks down a cash reward of 1500 has been granted love that for us okay so He's now level seven, so we are ten thousand dollars, and he's learned everything. I would literally have to make ten time machines to make that kind of money. That is so dumb. Anyway, <laughs> but like I get it, but like I wish there was another way, and I still don't think. Join science career, donate ghost hunting, donate to. Yeah, I don't know how to do this bot thing, to be honest. But I'm gonna have to work that out. He's gonna casually have some monsters in the basement, kind of creepy, but like, love your vibe. Actually, let me just quickly check on it now. I wanna have like a, um, cause I definitely love us to have a little bot, but um, unfortunately, yeah, just said when you reach level 10, maybe it's level 10 of his invention career that he's allowed to do that, but um, we're just gonna hang in there. I'm not too sure. If anybody knows, just let me know. Um, will give me a heads up um but also while i'm thinking about it i i, I know i will forget because there's sculpting in this pack as well right and i totally forgot about that so there's the sculpting machines right sculpting yeah cool so i do want us to do a bit of work with the with this but i'm not sure 
I just don't want us to forget about it. So I want to have it in the inventory so that like when we do move, I'll remember to put it out. Okay. And he also needs to go collect his service rewards. So, you know, he's just spent his morning doing that, um, the time machine. So I think it'd be good if he has a little break from it. Also guys, I don't know if this is the first part with this reshade, but this reshade is real cute. And I'm just testing it out to see how it goes with my vibe. With my vibe. I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. Ask about potential suspects to away at Kian. I don't know how to say his name, but I love that it's just little interactive little bits like that. Like just click this button and then she does her bits. So that's really, it's a relief because I don't have to spend ages trying to decorate Sims. I don't have to go to the household and I don't have to like do this extra crazy stuff. Not that it's like super crazy, but like it's just a bit of, and I think, wait, you're level nine. Oh, he's so close. Look at it just jumping up. <laughs> He's level seven of chess. Cool. Love that. And what are you up to, my honey? She's going to bed. This is her new work outfit, by the way. I redid a work outfit for her. She is on the clock, but there are currently no jobs, I don't think. Oh, there is a job. Okay. I butchered that. I'm so sorry, honey. <laughs> I'm just like, she's done for today, guys. She is going home. But, you know, if we can get lots of money, I'm not going to complain about it. But I'm thinking, like, literally, he does have work this afternoon, but I think he'll reach the max of his career this afternoon. Is it true, Frederick? Do you really invent a time machine? Amazing. This is your greatest invention yet and very deserving of an award. I am proud to give you the Medal of Genius to commemorate this monumental occasion. Display this proudly on your wall. We're also giving you a medal you can wear. So do you think you could go back to last week and find out where I misplaced my car? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so I guess it's done. When he's done that, he can head home. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Let's interview. All right, and you're just doing that. We're gonna have to follow Carissa because she's gonna have to do another makeover job, which I'm not too excited about, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I love how her work uh, mobile is a truck. If anything, it should be like a van so she has like all her styling kits and like whatever else she does do did in the back. Oh, Justin. Hi, Justin. Do we know Justin? I don't think we do. This outfit is missing the last bit of polish. It's almost there, but I need an expert like you to get the right touches. Okay, we can work on that. And Magdalena has finished work today. Good old little Maggie. Um, so I guess let's, uh, discuss some fashion with him. I'm hoping that doing this stuff, like, helps. Um, give him some fashion advice and then we will offer a makeover. I don't know if it does help, but I'm hoping that it helps, like, because it sets, like, a bit of a tone in their relationship. Like, she's actually asked. Like, I didn't just go in and help myself. But, like, I'm not too sure. But, so he just wants a new accessory. So let's just have a little bit of a chat with him. I know you think we're amazing, but like, chill. This house is kind of cute. I don't know why they have like little boards on this side, but also it makes me think it's a secret basement here. Like, do you have one of those two guys? Whoa, what an interesting uh, looking house. Do the three people live here? Who else lives here? A Lang? Oh, well, let's just offer him his new makeover, shall we? Fashion of a makeover. All right, you've got some clothes on the ground that's already not cool, but like, it's, it's a vibe. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. His outfit is kind of cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's who Cho was interviewing. I was like, am I meant to be giving him a makeover? Okay, so I put a new accessory on him and it's a sweet coat. <laughs> but he thinks it's hot. Congratulations on completing a new thing for my portfolio. Maybe I only get it when they actually really like what they've been given. It's kind of really picturesque, fam. But let me just quickly check that that photo was fine. Oh wait, it's not in here yet. Hold on. What is this pose? Oh my god. He's got a cute smile though, right? Kind of a bit uh, creepy, but it's fine. Um, camera. No, no, wrong one. Okay, you're right. Um, camera, photos, few photos. Nope. Few images. Okay, cool. So our photo like our photography skill has been going up. Like that was a really cute makeover too. But our photography skill's been going up, so I think we should have less problems with having problems with the pictures. But thank you so much. Uh now she's gonna head home. I appreciate that. I I'm really glad that she didn't have any problems with that. Because the last accessory that we did was an issue. Okay, let's get this interview in. Cho's got this. 
All right, search Jenny Jones, Jones Brown's garbage can for clue. Okay, so we should see it in the map, right? No? Yes, it's over here. Jenna Jones. Okay, and then let's search the garbage can for clues. Watch, okay. Don't let the turtle out unless you're ready for it. Does he have work now? No, he starts in an hour. Okay. All right, let's hurry up, Cho. Oh my God. Guys, this gameplay seems relatively smooth, but it's because I'm not moving or doing anything. How beautiful. What is this? What is this sound coming? Oh my God. Okay. It's like a foot. Oh, okay. It's an equestrian center. It's like, is there a football stadium behind us? Like, what is happening right now? Be targeted by spell. He's putting a love charm on him. No, 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 no. We don't have time for this. Jeez. Why are you putting a love charm on him? <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope uh, Maggie's not up to anything too crazy. How many? Why do I have so many notifications? Okay, so we got job experience. The new accessory 25 cassette complete. Okay, nothing crazy. So he's off to his first job as well. So he just needs to exercise some objects. I don't know how long this will take Cho to dig through. Should I just dip to chase? Yeah, I could probably dip to chase actually. Alright, you where you need to be, honey. Oh my god, it's this smooth gameplay. Where did she come from? Ask about shoes. To Jenny Brown Jones. Get a reward object. Though I'm kind of panicking right now and I probably should. Confront suspect. Uh, had they known you'd go digging through their trash, I bet they would have never tossed out this morsel of information. There's no spooky music yet. Oh. I was like, we've been to this house so many times. At least just, oh my god. <laughs> uh, are we getting invited inside? Alright, let's go exercise these ones. Should I do, um, options? Should I just enable object hiding? So like, you can't see it in there, but like, it obviously helps the rendering a little bit more. I mean, that felt just like instantly smoother when I did that. So I guess it's not trying to load all the objects in the other levels. Alrighty, let's get going. Okay, so that's two. Luckily they're pretty obvious. And it's a bit easy as... Okay. How are you going? Are you confronting your suspect? She was talking to her but not confronting her. Uh, report... Report in. Okay, let's do it. I'm actually really glad that the jobs for that are so, like, simple. I really do appreciate it. I might also donate a few of our ghosts to the, um, what? To the science facility. I did have an option, like an opportunity to do it a bit earlier, but, um, I never got around to it because it cancelled itself out. Because you have to do it within a certain period of time, which I totally did not realize. What a, what a bait for me. Oh, we should get a promotion. Oh, look, we're like 99. Once he completes this job, you ready? Are you ready? My honey. All right, wait. Wasn't that four? <gasps> what was that sound? What's that sound? What is the sound? He also completed his lifetime wish. I did not realize he just had to reach level 10 in his career. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Chase. Chase literally has to do nothing now. Ah, uh, Sinbad brother wants to know if Chris. No. Get away from Carissa. Just stay away from Carissa, honestly. But anyway, my baby, he has completed the Paranormal Profiter Lifetime Wish by reaching level 10. So just completed his Lifetime Wish, he will always remember sucking up all those troublesome ghosts. Has been busting his hump and has earned a raise. Just reached top level of the hunting career. Has completed his Lifetime Wish. Congratulations, Chase has been conferred the new title of Paranormal Expert by the Twin Brook Town Council. You are the purveyor of Poltergeist, the Banisher of Banshees, the Eradicator of Evil. Not only have you vanquished some of the most terrifying spectres out there, you've freed troubled souls from eternal suffering, both dead and alive, many times over, but are a true hero. Uh, Chase can now use the spirit positioning device in map view to locate wayward spirits all over the town. Oh, so he can kind of like do his like freelance work then I'm guessing. And he makes about $3,000 a week. That would be the dream, honestly. Nice work. I thought I'd never get my piece. Chase has captured, captured some ghosts. Took a trip to the art gallery. All right. And he still has another job today, does he? I mean, I know we're like all 
you know, masterful. Oh, he's got 50,000 points. Just let me have a gander. I'm pretty sure he's already purchased the two that came with this pack. Um, efficient inventor we don't need. Crafter. And sculptures. Do I get that? Because technically we're going to get him to do some sculpting. So hopefully like maybe he works less days. Um, and then we can do that. But anything crazy good up here? Food replicator. Not really too worried about that honorary degree. My best friend. A symbol joins the family. Negative. Collection helper. Philosophy stone. Philosophy? Philosophers? Listen, in all honesty, just for now, I'm thinking I might just get him the crafter because I want him to do some sculptures. Like, so that's going to be his bit of a, you know, like something else he's going to get up to, but he still has 30,000 points. Um, five proof homestead, body sculptor. Oh no, that's just to let them like reshape their body, right? Acclaimed author, clean slate, long distance friends in life crisis, attractive, fast learner. Yeah, we'll get him fast learner so that he can obviously work on his other skill a little bit more and then we can just save those 20,000. But that's awesome. I feel like it's been so long since I freaking completed a lifetime wish. Um, but that's awesome. So he's going to head to his next job, I believe. Go to what? Is that this one? Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. And then how's Cho going? Report findings. She gets to the lot and then just doesn't do what she's meant to do with the lot. So I have to really keep an eye on her. But I'm just going to tip home to Freddy because we have barely seen Freddy at all this part. He's playing games. <laughs> My sweetheart. Alright, let's just uh, purchase some scrap. We're going to purchase... Actually, while you're here, because we have just gotten a bit of money actually, so let's go move within this neighbourhood. I just kind of want to see how we're going. Um, so if we were to move everyone into the new household and... Should I sell furniture? I think I should sell furniture. More that, um, hold on, just for example, I think we should pretty much should be fine to do it, but we put these, like, put the important stuff in here. Is that because it's okay? Um, there was a painting in here that I wanted to keep that I think was done by Hunter, and then we'd want to keep our little turtle baby. Um, keep the broomstick. I'm literally packing this up as if we're, like, moving right now. That's the dream, though. I just wanted to see how much stuff I could pick up or take with us. I think that's really all we would need. I feel so sorry for Maggie. I'm so sorry about the Mags. <laughs> um, literally, that's probably all we would need, right? Okay, cool. So let's try again. So, uh, move it in this neighborhood. Or is he already doing that? No, he's just canceling out of it. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't mind if we have to buy a new treadmill or whatever. All right. Oh, so we're... $3,000 less, but if we sell furniture, I think we should have enough. But that's not to say that we have enough for the actual. <gasps> we have enough for the house. It's 62, so that would leave us a few thousand to actually decorate. I'm keen. I'm keen. Let's just do it now. I know we probably should wait for like middle of the day. Um, Actually, hold on. We'll, we'll wait a little longer. What can I get him to do? Look, I'll pull out his little machine and he can keep doing this for a little bit longer. Just like make some objects while we wait. But we'll do it tomorrow morning. All right. I'm so excited. Yes. Guys, I've been grinding so hard for this money. Uh, did I purchase scrap for him? Can he make stuff? To make many big inventions. Oh, maybe make a few harvesters. I don't think that'll get us a lot of money, but just like get him started in that. Um, And Carissa, my honey. So I don't know if he actually gets a large... Oh, he has 30,000. So is that sculptor in here? Um, I don't know if I have to read it again. Magic hands. Once are for amateurs. Real witches can do magic with their hands. Oh, that's so cool. Did I get that for... Um, I keep trying to call her Hazel. Oh my god. For Fawn and I just didn't realize it. Oh, that'd be really cool. And then I could just sell his wand. What was the one that I was looking at? It was like Savvy uh, Artisan. Artists and crafters create high quality inventions. So he's an inventor. Ha. So I think we should definitely get that. So they sell for more. So that would make it a lot better for us. Um, and then I'd actually like us to save for that, that witch one where you just do the magic with your hands. Because I think that'd be really nice. And then we could sell his wand. Oh, look at her. I love that she cleans so much, honestly. 
we wouldn't even really have to worry about doing any um washing because we're just gonna be moving soon um oh i should be helping you with your thingy and you should be on your way home okay my apologies i totally forgot that he was at his job i just got really excited about the fact that we have enough money for the house oh my god is he just oh he's doing it by himself i love you so much honestly hello banish banish i'm glad that you can kind of leave him and he'll take care of it but just because he's gotten level 10 now, I am going to just, with the ones that he's gotten so far, I'm going to just donate them. So she's earned job experience and $500. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad we got here, honestly. Where did our last ghost go? What? It's the orange one. Ah, here you are. What? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right, good work. Thank you, honey. Let's head home. Um, write enough books to earn a weekly. Uh, no, we're not. That's not our vibe. I'm so sorry about that. But tomorrow morning we'll move. Oh, that's so exciting. I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Okay, we we're off to bed. I can't believe they did have. They had a baby, but I want them to have like um a normal baby. It's almost like I kind of want him with Carissa, but like I don't want to ruin Carissa and Chase's relationship because they're actually kind of really cute. So I think maybe we should just have another babe with Cho, maybe. Another babe? Wow. All right, and he has just gotten home, correct? Yeah, he's just having some food. With his, uh, his niece. Wait, yeah, it'll be his niece technically, I think. Does that show her as your niece? Oh, it doesn't show any relation for him. Does that mean he can technically be romantic with her? Because that's just not cool. Yeah, that's... But it would show them in the family tree, right? Uh... Right, cousins. <laughs> so if we go down here to Hunter... Yeah, okay. And Magdalena? <laughs> he looks like such a little emu. <laughs> oh my... I need to change her surname. I forgot about that as well. That's okay. But I'm really... I just want to like... We'll go to sleep in the morning and then I'll just have us move to the new place real quick. All right, I think you should go have a shower, honey. Take a quick shower and then let's go to sleep. All right, it's the morning. I'm pretty sure Magdalena is the one waking up. Yes, she is. Hi, honey. Well, Magdalena, since you're the first one up, let's ruin everybody's lives and make them all move. Wait, make it appropriate. Oh my gosh. Wait, it was just there. Move within this neighborhood. Let's go, Magdalena. It'd be cool if she like came with like some like with some skills from the future or if she had an item in here that you could kind of that would have been fun I think but that's okay I'm so excited that after all this grinding what part is this like part like 15 or so I don't know I'm bad <laughs> but how nice is it after all our work to actually wait hold on Ooh. oh it's because he's doing a job oh my god all right let's just get you know can you just like scrap that discard invention okay and we'll put this in here. All right, let's try this one more time. So let's move it in this neighborhood. Just about to play some chess, excuse me. Okay, let's select everyone. This is the Salvatore. Do I put the? No, we'll just call it Salvatore household. I don't know. All right, and then we're gonna sell our furniture. We're gonna choose a house. Oh my God. We're giving up fifteen thousand dollars to move around. That's really good because they're not going to have beds yet. <laughs> Said Cho, are you thinking of not getting married, or is that Freddie? Would love to know. Wait, wait, wait! Tell me, tell me, tell me! Oh, see how the furniture's gone on the inside. It was Cho. Okay. All right, guys. This is quite exciting. I think that includes selling the cars, but I'm not too bothered about that. All right. Oh, Cho, it's off my broomstick. <laughs> Not sure. Maggie, this is going to take me a little while. I'm sorry about it. Do they take the black car? No, we're just following Cho straight away. Oh. <gasps> I guess I'm calling her Cho. It's Maggie. Maggie. All right. Well, this is quite exciting. We're, we're cool now. We're not in the swamp anymore. We're moving up. 
There was also a tree here that was blocking our lot that I deleted because it was really annoying me. But... <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I feel bad that Maggie's the one <laughs> just helping us. Look, we don't talk about this, okay? That's it's what it's what I have to put up with so that we can have a really cool house. But like Maggie's like she's not even the one who made all this money and she's like first one in the house. She's like, damn, mom and dad, this is a good place. Carissa is faithful to Chase. Carissa isn't a faithful reputation. And Chase is faithful to Carissa. Oh, Chase straight off to work. Did everybody move? I think they technically moved, but they just like gave up. Okay, everybody just come to the lot. And then Maggie can go to work. Wait, who's taking her to work though? He looks pretty like, uh, it looks a little cute. Oh, I would like to say that this is my first, okay, I didn't put that there. That was never there. <laughs> all right, let's just get these guys home. Did they all like turn up in separate things? Well, he's on his broomstick. They all came in separate taxis. You guys suck. But anyway, so. So just to fill you guys in, this is the house. I think I gave you guys a brief look in the last part. But, so basically, it's just kind of like, um, I really wanted a garage. I just really like the idea of that. But, and I also could obviously have uh, Freddy's stuff in here if you wanted to have that. I definitely am a little uncertain about what rooms are going to be for specific stuff. But that's an idea if I want to do it in the garage. But the lighting in here is so dumb. So that's why I have like two lights in every area. Because like they're lights for this level and this level. So they're both lit up. But anyway. So we have like the stairs at the front. We have a cute little lounge room here. And I actually tried to put it on this kind of bench. Instead of having the old like DVD players and stuff underneath. So if that's why it looks weird that's why. Um, then we have a very cute modern dining room. I haven't gone like full out. I kind of just put some stuff in to see how I was feeling about like the spacing. Um, so I obviously haven't like extensively decorated. Um, this is the, ki uh, the the kitchen that costs us so much money. Like these are so nice. I'm not even sure I'm really liking the white anymore, but like it's really cute. Uh, and then we've got a room here and then we've got like the laundry bathroom. I was going to have a separate full laundry, but like I think I would need more bedrooms to be honest just because we've got Maggie as well now so I might even put Maggie in this small room I know she's like a, a little a, a child <laughs> an old child but I thought um it just might be better that way so that could maybe be Maggie's room um and then you go upstairs and this is a nice hallway area um not sure what this is gonna be but we could always put like the the drawing table up here then we've got another small room a master room but we've got like so this is a five bedroom, three bathroom. So obviously this master bedroom doesn't even have a door on it. Oh my God. <sighs> See guys, just terrible, really. Actually, it's gonna have to be the one door one, isn't it? Because if it takes up two, then it won't work with the washing basket. Ah, okay. It just won't look cute from the outside, but it'll work, right? All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness but like basically that's the look of the house i don't know why none of the lights are on but like oh so it looks so much nicer at night time look, look at the coloring it's so pretty maybe this will be i could even put like a bathroom in here if i really wanted to do i want to not that i really need another bathroom but that way this bathroom shared between these two rooms and then they have their own and the downstairs for everyone i just feel like this room's kind of too big do you think Am I thinking too much about it? But I think it's just kind of like a weird shape. So even if I did a bathroom in here, it'd be like a really weird shaped bathroom. Um, otherwise, could maybe just do like a really small bathroom like that. With just the toilet and the shower in there. And maybe a sink if they can route around it. I might do it. I think the, the room's just like a really funky shape to kind of fit that in. But I could always do this room a little bit smaller. Because if it is just for kids, we don't really need it to be too much bigger, do I? I was trying to line up all the windows on the outside. <laughs> Otherwise, it, it just looks it looks really funky. Like, even, like, that would have been better. But, like, <clears throat> I mean, I might do that. So you could put, like, a, like a small bathroom in there. Or whatever I want that to be, really. And then you could probably have, like, one there. And that'll give you, like, a shower area. 
Anyway, but that's an idea. And then I could just put what I want it shared between both rooms. Negative. Because I could have had a door on each side, which could have been okay. But we'll do that. Oh, actually. I really, I, I cannot express how much I love this building set. Like, because it gives you the option to have, like, a door on one panel or to have it on two panels. So it's, like, centerized like that. That's, I appreciate that so much. But like, say if we go like this. Okay, I'm kind of liking this because I feel like sometimes I make bedrooms too big sometimes and you just can't really fit stuff in there anymore. Oh, I didn't realize that was there. <laughs> um, and even if you had it like that and then you can just put like a sink in. Are all my sinks like on, yeah, they are. They're on these little cupboards. So like I literally could have made this like the kitchen. Right, with the white top? Or is that too much? It might even be better. I might even change that around. But um, anyway, would I put another one there? Yeah, that looks nice. Would I put one here, guys? I don't know. All right, but I am gonna be doing a speed build of this whole build. So once I finish this build, I might put that speed build out fully after this part, and then we can come back in and it's gonna be all finished with the bit of money that we have, but I'll probably play through the rest of the day in game so we have a little bit more money to play with. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it all. It's just, it's, it's so nice. It's such a pretty house. It's so pretty. But yeah, yeah, ja, ja. All right, well, anyway, guys. Um, but yeah. Alrighty, so guys, I will just be leaving this part here for today. I hope you guys are having a really good day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!